So hip extension and producing power, we got into this with the kettlebell swing. So basically the goal of the hips to bar and achieving full hip extension is getting our body as close to the bar as possible so that our shoulders have a shorter distance they need to, to travel, to transition, and land on top of the bar. If your hips to bar is weak, you don't get very high up in the air, you're all the way down here, your arms are gonna have to pull you somehow up and over the bar, which probably isn't gonna happen unless you are a freakishly strong athlete, okay? And then at that point, you're basically doing a strict bar muscle up anyways. All right, so you want to compare it to the kettlebell swing. So use that heavy 200 pound kettlebell swing example if you want. When it's really heavy, we have to move through these big positions. We have to move fast and we have to move tight in order to create momentum and power to swing that bell up as high as you're trying to get it to go, okay? Same thing applies to the bar muscle up. You have to move fast, you have to move tight, and you have to move through these bigger positions in order to produce as much power as possible. If your positions are small, you're not gonna produce power. If your positions are slow, you're not gonna produce power. If your positions are loose, you're not gonna produce power. You have to be tight, fast, and big in all of your positions and all of your movements, okay? Super important. So in saying that, we can reinforce hip extension, this butt squeeze with three drills that I like to use if this is you and this is your common fault. So we're gonna do hip extension with a low box, hip extension with a high box, and then evolving hips to bar, which just means we're gonna start with a very small hips to bar and grow it as you feel more strong and more confident, okay? So let's take a look at the low box first and work our way up. 